Hi, it's Arit here. Welcome to another video on the Estetino Artist channel where we share all kinds of tips related to helping you grow your creative business. So in today's video, I want to show you how to design your own client testimonial post that you can put up on Instagram or post up on Facebook, wherever you basically want to feature the love. So you can do this when you get a review or a testimonial from a client or a customer, and you can use PowerPoint to design it. So, so most people have PowerPoint. It comes on most PCs. If you're using a Mac, the equivalent would be Keynote. So you could do the same thing. So let's get started. I have PowerPoint open here and you know, it goes straight to the presentation mode, but we want to do, we want to change the dimensions of the canvas, especially if you're posting it on, let's say Instagram. So I'm going to go to the design tab and then we're going to go to slide size and then click on custom slide size and I'm going to choose custom right here. And because uh, let's say I want to post this on Instagram, I'm going to go with 12 inches by 12 inches so that it, there, it's a square. If you want to post this on Facebook, you could also post a square post on Facebook or you could look up the dimensions in inches on Google for the type of post that you want to do and then come in here, edit the width, the height, then click OK. And then just doesn't matter which one you click on there. It's going to make it into a square. So now what I typically do is I'd like to add a photo of the person who gave the, the testimonial or review and then off to the side, I put the text. So let's do something like that. Uh, we're going to go to insert then pictures from this device and just to protect protect the confidentiality of my client i'm gonna just go with uh i have an adobe yeah i have a, an adobe stock image right here let's just pretend this lovely lady was my customer who left my testimonial and then so you can see here it fit nicely in here if your photo came in and it's like super small then when you go to make it bigger, it might look quite pixelated. So you will need a high resolution version of the of this picture in order for it to look nice and crisp. If you don't have a nice photo that you could use, maybe you don't have a photo at all of your customer, then what you could do is just create a really nice background. Uh, go to pixabay.com and pixabay is where you can find royalty free images that you could download for completely free. So you can go over there and then type in cool backgrounds into the search engine and then find something really nice to come in here and import the image. So it depends what the dimensions of your image is here. Um, because mine is kind of like portrait like this, then what I could do is add a block, a solid block over here so that I could put my text on it. If yours was a landscape photo, then you would create the block, the solid block underneath. So we're going to go to insert shapes and then I'm going to create a rectangle right here. If you don't want the rectangle, you could also change the shape. You could go to edit shape and maybe do something like, let's say this where it has a little bit of a slant and you can see a little preview over here off to the side. So let's, I like the slant. Let's do that. Um, and you're going to change the color. So you're going to click on shape fill. And then again, depending on the colors that you like to use, it could be white, it could be black. Um, I'm going to go with this yellow right here. It could because the colors stand out nicely with the image itself. I don't want you can I don't know if you can see, but there is an outline on this shape and I don't want the outline. So you can either change the color of the outline or just click on no outline. And then we're going to have to <laughs> cut off her hand here a little bit. Um, all right. So now we add our text. So let's go to insert and then click on text box and then just click and drag to create a box here. And I'm going to, I like to choose Lato just because it's super clear to read um, Lato black. And it's just, it's like more blocky and I'm going to increase the size. You can either increase the size over here or you can just select 
Uh, let's see what this looks like. So this is my client testimonial. All right, probably has some more text on there. So a read is great because X, Y, and Z. All right, so depending on the amount of text you have, you might want to make this bigger, smaller. You know, I like to make things nice and big so that they stand out. And you can see it's aligned a little weirdly here. So you can play with the alignment and also the size of the text box so that it fits nicely in there. I think maybe something like a left align or a right align rather would look good. Eh, maybe not. Let's go back to the, the middle. Okay, so, and you can see here, it's going to get cut off, right? You can't really tell um, because you can't cut off this piece. Another way that you could preview it, a larger preview would be to go to the slideshow icon on the bottom here. And then you can see it easily, nice and big, what it looks like. So let's go back and I'm gonna click on the text and just move it a little bit off there. And maybe move this inward more. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll move this up and then we want to put, because you're featuring the client or the customer, you want to put their name or their business below. So for that, I'm going to take another shape and we're going to use, I'm going to do a black, all black. And again, you can come here to change the shape fill, but since they already have a preset of just all black, I like to click on that. And if you if you have the rect the rectangle there, this will look nice, but you can see here I don't like how it doesn't align with the edge. So you can either extend it all the way to the end or you can again change the shape to match the shape of this slanted so that it kind of aligns nicely. I like it like this going across. So I'm going to leave that. And then to add the text, again, you could go to insert text box and then click and drag. Another way to add text, by the way, is you can double click on the shape and then just start typing but I like to import the text as a separate box because that way I have more control over it and I can move it wherever I like. So let's go client name here. Oh, we can't see any of that. So we'll need to change once again, or you gotta highlight all of it. Let's move it off to the side so we can see here. Let's first make it bigger. So I'm making it bigger and then I'm going to change it to white and again to Lato black and let's move it on top. If you found that your text is going underneath or it's, you know, the positioning is not right, you can go to arrange and then select bring to front so that it sits on the top here. And then if you want to really like incrementally uh, move it into place, you can use the arrows on your keyboard to do so. You can also play with the spacing, the letter spacing by going here. And you can play around with these right here or just go super more detailed. You can just put in a number here and it will make it the exact letter spacing that you like. So I'm gonna click and drag it. You could see the guides here. These, it kind of snaps into place. So I'm looking for the one where it's going to center align it. And if you're not sure whether it's centered or not, cause it's kind of hard to see here, you could also go to arrange, align, and then align center. So it looks like that. Let's, let's do a bigger preview here. Nice. And if you wanted to put like your logo um, of your business or maybe an at and then your username if you're posting this on Instagram, because what might happen is if you're posting this, your client, if you're tagging your client in the testimonial, they might actually share it. And so if they share it, you'll want your business or something related to you on that post so that their followers can come check you out if they want to.
And of course, guys, there's so many other things that you could do to customize this further to your liking. I mean, you could you could play around with this. I could click on this if I wanted to add a white border over here. I can go to weight and maybe increase the weight here so that there's a nice white line like you see here in the center to kind of make it stand out a little bit more It maybe pull this down so that there's no white line on the bottom you can have fun with it and again if you chose to go with a background image you don't have an image of your test of your client that would be the piece shown over here on the side so play around with it play around with the positioning of the solid block and the image itself play around with the fonts the text customize something that you love and share your wins, share your celebrations. If your client or customer is saying good things about you, make sure you share that on social media. And once you're happy with your design, the last step is to save this as a JPEG or a PNG so that you could go and upload it to your, your platform of choice. So you could go to File and then Save As, and then choose wherever you wanna save it. Um, you're going to name your, so I'm going to go testimonial, demo, and then change the save as type to either JPEG or PNG. Either is fine. You could choose either. And then when you hit save, you'll have that graphic saved on your computer. Another note as well is if you want to come back, you want to keep this PowerPoint file as a template so that you can come back to create more posts in here then make sure you save the actual PowerPoint presentation as well. So that will be the editable file and you can always come back to it. So you'll need to do this twice. You'll have to save the JPEG separately. So I'll click save. It's gonna ask you which slide do you wanna export? There's just the one slide that we have in there. So just hit just this one. And then you also want to go back, hit save as, and then client or testimonial demo, but this time it's not going to be a JPEG. It's going to be the PowerPoint presentation. Hit save, and then you'll have both files available on your desktop. And just to show you, I'm on my desktop here. So this right here is the JPEG, the image file that you'll go to upload to your social media, and then this is the editable file. And that's what your post looks like. Looks great. And by the way, if you're trying this out on your own and it's just not working for you, you'd rather just have someone else design this for you, then I'm happy to help. I've designed hundreds of social media graphics and PDF workbooks and all kinds of different content for my clients. Shoot me an email and I'd be happy to create some stunning graphics for you. All right, I hope this has been helpful for you. I have lots more PowerPoint design tutorials on the channel, so I'll leave a link to our playlist down below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, or subscribe to the channel for more good stuff coming your way. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.